we are going to look at the independency of accountants in public practice. Yeah, how can accountants be independent? So, independency of an accountant increases their integrity and objectivity. Like, it increases their honesty, their fair dealing, and then making decisions based on facts. So, an accountant should to be and appear to be independent of clients. Yeah, they should be independent from clients so that they do not make influenced decisions. So that the two types of independency an auditor should have. The first independency is the independency of mind, also known as the actual independency. And this one is a state of mind that allows an auditor to make professional judgments and conclusions and conclusions without influences and to act with integrity and exercise objectivity. Like here, the auditor makes professional judgments and conclusions without them being biased or being influenced by things like love, attitude, anger, things like that, relationships, so they can act with integrity, which is honesty, and then make decisions based on facts, which is objectivity. And this is what is referred to as to be independent, like you are independent. Yeah. Independency of mind or actual independence, when you can make professional judgments and conclusions without influences. Then the second type is uh, independence in appearance or perceived independence. So here you avoid significant facts and circumstances that are likely to compromise your integrity and objectivity as an auditor. This is what is referred to as to appear independent. So here you try to avoid things that will stop you from acting like the way you're expected to act. That's what we call independency in appearance, also known as perceived independency. And this is referred to as to appear to be independent. So those are the two types of independency. Independence of mind, like you make profession judgments and conclusions without influences. Independence in appearance, you avoid anything that can compromise your integrity and objectivity as an auditor. So that is all about the independency of accountants in public practice.